so the second MFL is nearing closer and closer, and while the first MFL is already underway and might house Shikupa's first actual attempt at the title, the second MFL will consist of an interesting list of teams. We are going to see Vada in the second division for the first time in its history, and along them, they'll be joined by former Tetev and Giants Tetex, last season's cup winners Silex and first league hopefuls like Gostova. But among all those teams is a club that was newly promoted from the third tier and looks to be among the favorites to get promoted, a club that splashed the cash on getting some of the highest rated free agents Macedonia has to offer, and a club that's also led by one of Orid's most hated businessmen. This is a short story of Vosca Sport, the football club owned by the notorious Nifi Usini. Vosca Sport is a very young football club formed back in 2019, but during that time the club got all the way to the second MFL in back-to-back -back promotions starting from its first season in the municipal fourth tier, thanks to some expensive recruitment. So far it sounds like your usual football manager save where you give a club a billion euros to work with, and you just let it do as it wishes to, however most people don't see the big issue as Vosca buying its way up the divisions, but rather their problem lies with the man, who is leading the club up the divisions, namely Nifi Usini. To anyone who has a good understanding about the issues that are facing Orid, I'm sure that most of them will be able to point at Usini as one of the culprits, but for my viewers who barely have a clue as to who he is, here is a brief summary. Nifi Usini is a rich businessman who resides in Orid and owns his own construction firm, Nifi Ike. He has been seen by many in the town as one of the people that could lead to UNESCO pulling their declaration of Orid as a World Heritage Site due to some of Usina's unsanctioned buildings, which even after many orders from the town and municipality that they be put down, lay dormant in one of Macedonia's most historic landmarks. Among these buildings is the infamous concrete monster in the nearby vicinity of the Dalian district, which while Usini isn't directly responsible for, his vehicles were still spotted at the site. Add the fact that he has committed multiple crimes ranging from abuse and theft to endangering the safety in Orid. What do you think his punishments over the years have been? Well he got an honor from the municipality of course, along with becoming president of the Orid branch of the UI. God I fucking love this country. I think I'll end my summary there, but if you want a better description of what kind of person you see me is, I recommend investigative reporting labs video on him in the link in the description. Now to return to the topic of the video, Vosca Sports Rise will surely not be stopped at the second MFL, and Nifi Usini will probably pump as much money as he can into the club in order to see them become one of the biggest in the country. This transfer window alone, the club has signed Macedonian under-19s internationals Behafita and Zemel Jahiji, first MFL veteranizer Emini, and players who were linked with better moves abroad like Blemi Mustafa and Barat Ismail. These moves alone seems like enough to get the Orid side automatically promoted, but as I mentioned in the start, this second MFL season could be the most competitive in its history, with teams like Vada. Tetex, Silex and even a rivalry between Vosca and the town's oldest club GFK Orid, so this season won't be as straightforward as Nifi would hope. But what do you guys think? Will Vada go straight back up to the promised land? Will Silex take their good form from the European qualifiers and blast through the division? And most importantly, will Swirovski sue Vosca for that atrocious logo? We'll have to find out eventually when this sack of shit league gets underway. With all that being said, thanks so much for watching. My apologies for taking so long to post a video over the summer. It's just that, since becoming an assistant researcher for Football Manager I haven't had much time to make videos, but I would still appreciate it if you could leave a like and tell me how I can improve. With that being said, this was A8B.